What is going on? It's Eric Tech Stuffs. We are going through some different stuff real quick. This is a e-waste product here that needs to be uh, taken care of. Real nice though, the Ubiquity um, Unify switch is always nice, PoE. This is a 48 port, 500 watt shared out there. Um, basically it takes place of these little bricks and stuff like that, that you can take network in and out power it and send it over the different pins that aren't used uh, this is all inclusive here unify key I got to go through here too as well oh, unify cloud key but yeah a lot of these PoE switches go to different products that have PoE options like uh, unify switches and stuff like that I have the option to power these uh, with the PoE on it this is a ubiquity um, AP Pro and uh, this thing uh, sets it up very nicely they're all kind of paired together everything's cloud-based so it's very cool but otherwise we're going to check the functionality of this thing real quick but yeah basically everything's coming on lit when nothing's plugged into it and that's never good for a switch and connectivity issues everything else like that but it does have fiber ports and everything only thing you really can do is hit the reset while you're or hit it but hold it down and hope for the best and see if it uh, reboots now here is just a quick tech tip that you can definitely use in many of your products that you need to use the reset button here as you know this this is a sim key from a cell phone those are great you can put them on your keychain i do have it on mine and i have a spare here and this is the tech tip a lot of people have the Bofang units and uh, those HTs come with a lanyard. A lot of people don't put this on their radio, so you could definitely go ahead and just use that for your key. And that way you end up with having a better key option. You don't have to have this on your keychain, but it does make it a little easier too if you wanted to have that. But definitely easy to hang and hook in your shack if you deal with a lot of tech stuff. Yeah, just go ahead and use that for your reset button. Hey, what is going on? We are back with this Unify 48 uh, PoE switch here. This thing here. It's 2014 shows on the board. 2015 probably released wise. Um, yeah, they got about a one year warranty. It's unfortunate on these. But I was able to console and do it and do all that fun stuff. Obviously, I've taken it apart a little bit. But the uh, I was able to console and then it just stuck. And just a dead blue reset button doesn't work. Nothing works. On the console, it showed that uh, no Ethernet was connected. No lights on the front of this whatsoever as shown. And then we just decided to rip it apart because that's all you really can do. And you can't do anything else with it. So... So we look on this board, you can see, uh-oh, major discoloration around this chip here. And um, yeah, I'm sure some uh, very, very small board components have also failed along with that, not only just due to heat, but uh, yeah, this chip probably itself too, because it, this thing is actually hotter than this one. Um, but yeah, that's to do uh, 24 side on this, 24 on this to make a 48 port switch. but. I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. Of course, I have the daughter boards. No problems on these. These actually just sandwich eight in. And the power supply here, which is also good, um, does have 48 volts, 24 volts, 24 volts there. No big deal. All these boards are in good shape. I've seen a lot of times these are blowing on the back side right around here. And uh, so far, so good. All the fans work, everything like that. So maybe a parts unit here. Power supply is still good. Those fans actually could be used for a variety of different uh, radio heatsink uh, cooling. But I figure why not while we're into this, since this basically is the whole embedded board, those boards are fine. But getting a new board is pretty much getting a whole new unit. But yeah, I just show you the discoloration is actually very, very far ahead. It's probably even burned up that chip there. So let's just go ahead and flip it over, show some damage, and get on with the day. It's, uh, it's just e-waste, really. So that's kind of what the, the state of this situation is. So I'll be back showing you the other side. 
Oh yeah, make no mistake, it's been slowly cooking for quite some time. It's actually burning over into this, this unit here, but yeah, that's basically just fully cooked. Those components there have been under some amazing amounts of heat. Basically, this whole board all the way around here is really heated up. So, since this is a whole board, uh, yeah, not cool. I've also seen sometimes some failures on these. Um, and you can replace, but yeah, this is just burned up completely. So that's what a burned up Unify switch looks like. So if you see it, you can tell up from the top side cover after you take it apart. But yeah, it's a nice metal case. Maybe repurpose this for something unsure. But yep, it's not a switch, not functional any longer. So we'll see you in the next one. Eric Tech Stuff's saying if you get some of this stuff, sometimes you can fix it. Most of the times you're not. It's just the way it is with this old uh, small technology stuff that just burns itself up, actually.